Hi, this is Sally. I'm in my backyard this afternoon and I want to quickly show you my Bionic gear bag. The pattern's available on Craftsy. I also have a website, www.bionicgearbag.com and there'll be tutorials to help you build this there. Anyway, today I'd like to show you everything that it holds. It's meant to be your ready-to-go, grab-it-and-go, bug-out bag for when you go to sewing events or you go off to a friend's house to help her with some drapes or something and you sew together with her. Anyway, let me show you what it holds. Now, one of the features of the bag is, is when you open it up, it was designed to hold things in the front because this front box is out and there's sides here, nothing can fall out. So I have my most commonly used sewing machine feet, nice and handy. Then, one of the deal breakers is I didn't find another bag that would be able to hold this magnetic pin dish. I love these things. So mine sits right there. And then another, another thing I can't live without are Clover Wonder Clips. So I made a cute little fabric bowl. I've got two magnetic snaps on the back side. And it snaps into the side and into the front of the first pocket. This way it's nice and secure. You can grab the Wonder Clips easily. And because it's soft, you don't bang up your hands on anything and you don't get hangnails. It's just divine. And one of the other features of having this snap in is it creates a space where you can hold some things vertically. So there's a few things I love to have. One is my favorite seam ripper, a purple thing. I love Ginger nips. I keep those handy here and tuck the cap away here. And another thing I love to have are five inch Ginger shears. I use those for snipping corners and things like that. But I like having those handy and vertically. Also, a couple rulers are nice to have. You can stick those out of the way. And now that's as far as you would normally unpack it while you're sewing probably. Everything's handy. Everything else you need is still there. But let me show you everything it holds. I've got a tape measure here. Love this brand. I have my 8 inch Ginger shears. And this slot back here is designed to hold scissors. It's kind of slim, but it's padded. It's, it's uh, safe. And even if your scissors are a little bigger, this will hold them safely. So I'm going to take everything out so that you can see what it holds. I have an Alex Anderson point turner. Love that thing. And now let me show you this. I hope you can see it inside here the height and the width is designed to hold seven spools of thread even the taller Orofil brand you can put a golf tee and a bobbin and it holds the bobbin for the corresponding color so this will hold seven spools of thread thread is my favorite thing to forget when I go off to a sewing event so by having these common colors in here I'm at least covered in case I forget and then inside this first pocket, I should call it the second pocket, these are tools for my sewing machine and bodkins. So I know what's in there. And some quilting needles. And inside this front pocket, this front pocket is made to be the right size for sewing machine needles. And it holds quite a few, as you can see. And I also have a couple scrap pieces of jumper fabric there, because once in a while when I go I don't have scraps of fabric to use for jumpers. And even if you empty all this out, now that it's zipped up again, it's firm enough to hold all of this. But normally this stuff would be in here. My next pocket. I have a few things that I don't use very often. Quarter inch ruler. A pair of utility scissors. Because I don't want to wreck my good ones on anything. And I carry a pair of hemostats for turning zippers when I'm installing them. Sometimes my fingernails get in the way when the zipper is still on the machine. This is really easy to grab the tab and uh, move the zipper. I keep an extra spool with a little bit of paper tape on it. it. comes in handy. I have a walking foot. If you're going to have quilting needles, you might as well have thimbles. Here's a cute little USB drive, just in case somebody's got something that they want to share with me. And in the back, I don't normally carry these, but I want to show you that it can, is I have a large Ginger rotary cutter and a pair of Ginger pinking shears. These are both rather thick, heavy items. 
but it holds it all very well. And then in the back, this stays up and nice and vertical. It doesn't fall backwards. Um, I have some pencils, pens, marking pens, chalk, and there you have it. So that's the Bionic gear bag. A couple quick features is all the zipper ends, the metal zipper ends, are sealed inside these end pleats. So it's nice, clean, durable, looks really nice. And then because the pockets are different depths, this front one is shorter, meant to hold sewing machine needles, or works good for earbuds and that if you're carrying it, uh, using it for computer gear, but it does make it nice to store that pair of scissors. Love that. And then the rest of these are four inches tall, which is enough to hold these threads without them getting banged around. They're real uh, secure. And when you fold the whole thing up, it holds all of this. So there you have it. Hope you try one, and I hope you get involved in our sew alongs. Be sure to email me and check us all out. Um, my personal website is www.ripstitcher.com or you can check us out on the bag, www.bionicgearbag.com. Have a great day. Thanks for your time.